Hello friends, Stacey Anfinson here with your Tarport market update for activity in Dorify MLS for October of 2024. Let's dig in and see what happens. I uh, got some new slides, got some traditional slides for you. So once again, just uh, keeping us abreast of inventory, uh, going back from 2007 to 2024. If you look at the current period, we're up 35% uh, end of month inventory uh total compared to where we were this time last year and while that makes a great headline um look at where we're at if you go all the way back to uh the peak in inventory which was in 2008 we're down 61 percent and as we've discussed on uh, numerous other uh, presentations population has increased uh, we still do not have anywhere near the inventory necessary to meet the increased population this thing's added during the month. Once again, these are kind of good trends that we are seeing. Uh, total listings added during the month up 11%. And resales, which is the red line, is up 12%. But if you go back to September of uh, 2021, you can see that uh, we are down compared to that peak. So uh, once again, it seems like a tired old record I'm saying here is that we have to have more inventory. Uh, price dropping inventory is getting a lot of press uh, nationally. Um, and the, the reason I put this slide up, you see the green lines. We go back from October of 2022 to October of 2023, and then October of this year. And then the blue lines are January of uh, this year. And then the far right one is October of this year. So we're 43% in October of this year. If you look at the green bars, you can see we're a little bit up from where we were a year ago, but we're well, well down from where we were in October. Um, most of this is seasonal. Uh, if you look at the, if you understand the market and you understand that the peak of activity is in uh, the end of the first quarter and the second quarter, uh, what I, in my opinion, when you see these price drops, we have agents and sellers that are pricing their house based on spring price levels. And you see as the uh, percentages go up above 40%, that is incorrect. So uh, shout out to uh, real estate agents listening to this, get this to yourselves and your sellers. If you're pricing a house in the uh, end of the second quarter, the third quarter, and certainly in the fourth quarter, uh, you can't use uh, first quarter comps as that because you're gonna misprice it and you're wind up in this price change category, which we don't want you to now we look at our October average sales price uh, for resale is the dark blue. Uh, the average sales price overall is the light blue. Uh, you go back from about 541.4 in uh, October of 2024. If you go all the way back to October of 2018, that's an 82% increase. And as we've noticed before, that is wealth creation. Uh, if you notice the bubble in the upper right hand corner, S&P 500 is up 126% uh, comparing 2018 with uh, November of 2024. So uh, housing has been pretty good, but certainly has not been as good as the stock market. But both of those are wealth creating tools. October sold listings, we go all back once again to 2007. Uh, the red line, I put the fixed rate mortgage on there and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, Good news, closed listings were up uh, 13% in October of this year compared to October of last year, but down 43% uh, compared to the bubble of October of 2020. Um, and you can see where the red line bottoms out at. It's 2020. So a lot of us have maybe are more uh, sensitive to interest rate increases or decreases, but we really, every one of us needs to be uh, pay attention to the level because the market is very sensitive to it. You can see the peak of sales in 2020 correlates with the lowest level of interest rates. And, and you can see if you compare October of 2023 with October of 2024, the 13% increase, in my opinion, is due to the interest rates dropping down from a little under 8% to a little under 7%. Oh, the monthly principal and interest payment. This is uh, painful for buyers and it's kind of really um, illustrious for those of us that have been in the business for a while. Uh, the gold lines are this year. The blue lines are October's uh, going back from October of 2018 to October of 2024. Uh, comparing that metric, uh, October of 2020, which also was the low interest rate mark, uh, comparing the monthly PI 
in this October with that October increases 134%. So you went from $1,500 a month, plus or minus, to a little over $3,500 a month. That's a pretty big nuts. Um, you look at the red bar, which I uh, highlighted, that's the peak so far for this year, 3725 in May. So you can make the argument that house prices, uh, based on PA, have actually gotten, PI have actually gotten cheaper uh, since May of this year. So we'll like that. But if you compare October of this year with October, uh, with January of this year, we're up 9%. So a little good news, a little good, a little bad news in that. Uh, relationship between house price metrics, mortgage rates, and closed listings. This is a new slide for you all. So the red line is the percentage change in the principal, monthly principal and interest payment. And the blue line is the percentage change in sales. And as you may, this actually quantifies what we've been talking about a lot. As interest rates go up, sales go down. If you go back to October of 2022, which was kind of the peak in terms of mortgage rates in the last uh, six years, uh, you can see that that spike in that PI produced a 28% decrease in sales. The good news here is as mortgage rates have gone down, as we've got October of 2024, um, the PI actually decreased 2% and sales increased 13%. So market is super sensitive to the level of mortgage interest rates. Uh, this is a slide I could just kind of replicate each month. This is October, as just as we saw in September and August and July. This is the ninth consecutive October with an undersupply of housing, which is the support for house price metrics. Uh, days on market is trending up from the valley in 2021. We're at 18. That was the bottom, 45 in 2024. If you really look at where we were from, say, 20, uh, if I put a line on here, 2016 to 2024, 45 is probably right in the middle of it. So if you look at the past eight years, the days on market, we've kind of got back to the normal. Uh, once again, for those of you who have not been in the business and you see back in 2012, 2012, 131 days, you're thinking what was going on back then. So market has certainly gotten a lot better in terms of days on market. And that's specifically related to not having enough inventory. Um, Got three bars for you. This is a new uh, chart for you. This is specifically towards the resale market. Uh, the left line is the percent of resales that have a days on market of 30 days or less. The dark blue middle one is the percent of resales that sell above original list price. And the baby, the lightest blue on the right is the percent of resales with competing offers. All these are just really, really strong. Um, the, the right two bars are trending down a little bit, uh, but look at this one here. 86% of resales that sold in October sold within 30 days. So uh, residential resales in this market have really never been more liquid. 30 days used to be a quick sale amount back in the day, but today it's just the predominant days on market. All right, let's wrap things up. October end of month inventory is up 35%. Resale listings were up 47%. Total listings added were up 17% and resales added up 26%. The percentage of end of month listings with at least one press drop is the second highest during the year, but in my opinion, it's in line with prior Octobers. The monthly PI is up 9% compared to January uh, due to house price metric and mortgage rate monthly increases since that time. Uh, Number four, the sales increase in October compared to October of 2023 is due to lower mortgage rates. And once again, our undersupply of resale listings produces favorable environment for sellers. So we're going to keep, in spite of lower sales, it's kind of counterintuitive. Historically, in prior markets, lower sales produced lower price metrics. But because we have such an undersupply of listings, especially resale listings, the undersupply is continuing to be the floor for house price metric increase. So that's all I've got for now. I appreciate you listening to me. If you like the video, please hit like. Uh, once again, go to uh, going over my services, appraisals, mortgage, reload, attorneys, sellers, buyers, anything you can refer me for. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, Want to subscribe to the Tar Report? Just click on that, and I've got consulting. So thanks, and we will see you next time.